Hello everyone! I'm Yvette and welcome back to my YouTube channel! Sa mga first time na nandito, mag-subscribe na kayo and hit the bell button para updated kayo sa bagong uploads ko. For today's episode, makeup tutorial tayo, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ma-achieve itong ganitong look. I decided for smoky eye look for today, as you can see. Pero ipapakita ko sa inyo kung paano ko ito nagawa using affordable makeup. Mostly drugstore makeup siya. Alam niyo naman, hindi naman ako mahilig sa mga mamahaling makeup tulad ng lagi kong sinasabi. But I can assure you na kahit mura itong mga makeup na to at napakadaling hanapin, eh ma-achieve niyo yung ganitong look. Actually, baka nga sa mga makeup na nagamit ko, meron din kayo nun. So madaling madali yung magaya or masusundan itong makeup tutorial na to. Kung interesado kayo eh, in achieving this look, please keep on watching. For start, I'm using even water spray to keep my skin hydrated, toned, and refreshed. Then, babayaan ko lang siyang matuyo. Now, to moisturize my lips, I'll be using Burt's Bees Lip Balm. At the last step ng aking skincare routine, mag apply ako ng appropriate amount ng brightening CC to color combine and even out my skin tone. I'm just going to use my fingers to blend it. No need na to apply for sunscreen kasi meron na siyang UV protection. For my makeup base, I'm going to use Maybelline Face Studio Master Prime to keep my makeup in place and last longer. Then I also use my finger to blend it out. For foundation, I'm going to use Maybelline Fit Me Matte Plus Poreless Foundation in shade 128 Warm Nude. For a flawless natural application, I'm going to use a damp blender sponge to apply foundation. Using a damp sponge makes product application way easier. For more coverage, mag-apply pa ako ng second layer ng foundation. Remember to always use wet sponge kasi kapag basa ang sponge, mas konti lang na absorb niya na produkto which results in less makeup waste. For concealer, I'll be using Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Razor Multi-Use Concealer in shade 120 Light. I put concealer under my eye but not too close to lash line. And of course, don't forget the inner corner of the eye. I'm using the same sponge to blend it. Para sa contour naman, Caroline Contour Stick. I usually apply my contour on my cheekbones, just like that, down to the sides of my nose, Forehead closer to the hairline. And jawlines, of course. Applying contour will make cheekbones look sharper and jawlines defined, giving a much thinner effect. Yes, oh oh, madiin na thinner effect. This product has creamy consistency, so if you have oily skin, 
pwede nyo nang skip tong step na to. And of course, I blend it with a dump sponge. Beauty tip, always use dabbing motion kapag nagbe-blend tayo. Never wipe it or sweep it. And of course, always be patient. Oh, di ba? Nakikita niyo na ba yung thinner effect? Need to do final powder para naman iset ang aking base. Please do not skip this step, lalo na kung meron kayong oily skin. Lalagay ko lang yung powder sa areas kung saan ako naglagay ng concealer. Then, babalikan ko siya later, ibibake ko muna. And contour ulit tayo. Gamit ang City Color Contour Palette. Now, ina-apply ko siya sa areas where I apply the contour cream on. Oh, diba? More contour, more fun! I'm just gonna fix my brows using Maybelline Define and Blend Brow Pen and I'll be back. And now, balik tayo sa concealer to neutralize my lips. And uh, immediately apply setting powder to avoid creasing and for easier eyeshadow application. For my eyeshadow naman, EB Advance Uncover 2. Gagamit tayo ng peach for transition shade. And I just run it back and forth hanggang ma-achieve ko o ma-build ko yung gusto kong color. I'm using a small blending brush but you can also use a shadow applicator if you want. Nagamit naman ako ng red para sa outer corner of my eye. You can either use a pencil brush or a blending brush tulad ng gamit ko ngayon. Since I have Asian eyes, I bring it up a little higher than my normal crease. Tulad ng lagi kong sinasabi, always be patient because blending may take longer than we expect. Back with the first eyeshadow, I'm going to use a flat brush to line my lower lash line. And with this shade naman to line my lower outer corner, Extending it up sa direction ng end ng brows ko but not too close. And then I'm filling in the gaps with the same shade. And blend it out using a clean blending brush. I-blend nyo rin yung corners para maging smooth yung harsh lines. I'm going to use this shade for my lids. I just use my finger to apply it, but if you wanna use a brush, okay lang din naman yun. Using a blending brush, ibe-blend ko lang ulit ng konti. And I'm gonna reapply it. Using the dark brown eyeshadow, I'm gonna get a flat brush and... Magdo-draw lang tayo ng parang check papunta sa direction ng end ng brow but again, not too close. And then, gumagawa ako ng wing o parang tungkil using the same eyeshadow. shadow. 
smudging is the key, kaya naman ibablend ko lang back and forth hanggang maging smooth yung line. Now na meron na akong shadow na susundan, madali na para sa akin maglagay ng liquid liner. Susundan ko lang yung shadow na nakreate ko and then I make sure na close siya sa lash line. I'll be using this as a base para sa aking false eyelashes and then after ko malagay ang falsies, babalikan ko ang aking black liner to retouch it. And then for tight line, I'm using black eyeliner. I'm using the same eyeliner for my waterline but only until half. Now, I'm gonna curl my lashes bago ko maglagay ng falsies. And then, maglalagay na ako ng false eyelashes. Now that I'm done with my falsies, I'm going to reapply my black liquid eyeliner. Now that I'm done with my eye makeup, I'm going to blend my setting powder. I do this step after doing my eye makeup para kahit may fallouts, I can still wipe it off. And of course, blend, blend, blend. And I'm going to reapply my contour powder again, but if you're already satisfied with your contour, it's fine. Don't do this step. And to highlight my brow bone, I'm using Becca. You can use an applicator or a brush kung saan kayo sanay. But as for me, for this look, di mo na ako gagamit ng brush. For my blush, Sansan Age Defense Chic Blusher in the shade Peach. And I'm using this highlighter for my cheekbones. Since this one is creamy, I'm gonna put Becca highlighter on top of it. For my lips, I'm going to use EB Advanced LTD in the shade Cashmere. And I'm gonna use Detail Makeover, a Simply Matte in the shade Happy para matone down yung pagka-pink ng liquid lipstick na ginamit ko and maging pitchy pink yung color ng lips ko. And we are done! So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Let me know if you have comments or questions regarding sa tutorial. I'll be happy to read and answer your comments. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And yun lang, sana nag-enjoy kayo sa episode natin today. And most importantly, sana may natutunan kayo. Maraming maraming salamat and I'll see you next time. Bye!
Basic Kid, baby.